This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available on Amazon right now. Hi guys, this is Ranger Rob from Central Oregon Living and Homesteading. And today's subject uh, is about what's it like to live in Central Oregon. Not why I live in Central Oregon, but what's it like. <clears throat> and so I'm going to share a little bit of that. Uh, and I've been here three times. <laughs> uh, maybe 20 years ago, 15 years ago, and now. And I keep ending up back here. So uh, let's talk about what's nice about Central Oregon. <clears throat> well, it's very Americana. There's exceptions to that. <clears throat> we got a lot of folks coming from other states. And it's funny, they leave their other states because they're terrible, but they come to our places and try to do the same things again. And uh, so it also depends what part of the area. So we have what's called Bend, Oregon, which is our primary city out here. We also have Redmond, Oregon, and Madras, Oregon, and Prineville, Oregon. <clears throat> and sometimes they try to imitate big cities. <laughs> uh, and sometimes they're successful. But generally speaking, uh, you still run into people here that are kind of like city folks. Um, they still live in close together houses and uh, uh, tend to have some of the same issues bigger cities have. But because they're smaller cities, most of the area are people that live out in property, uh, farms, mini farms, or just a house with a lot of acreage. And so it tends to be a little more Americana here. And uh, that's what I like about it. Uh, there's a lot of small businesses when you go to them. It's a more personal experience. Um, <clears throat> it's uh, kind of nice. Um, you still find cranky people. I do find that Central Oregon people, no matter if they're redneck or not, don't like slow drivers. Uh, probably because everywhere you have to go around here when you live where we do is a long drive. Um, Bend, Oregon for us is about 40 miles. <clears throat> so uh, when you got to spend a day or the day going to get supplies in the city like Costco and places like that it's an all-day event then you end up stopping at all kinds of stores to get kind of all your list fulfilled you can waste a whole day just getting supplies <clears throat> um, the climate here is beautiful it can get kind of warm for a couple of weeks um, then it's pretty comfy generally 70 80 in the summers then when fall comes you can feel the fall and fall uh, you start getting that little coldness to it and of course the plants and, and if there's areas that have greenery like we have uh, you start seeing fall kick in with its colors then we get kind of a, a uh, we don't get a lot of rain we have a lot of clear skies but then we start getting into a very very cold um, 30 20 10 area um, even when winter comes we may get some snow but it tends to be a bitter cold um, cold to the bone kind of thing kind of cold that really gets to you uh, and then all of a sudden when spring comes along it's you can just feel it starting to come to life and uh, <clears throat> growing things this will be my first year really growing things in our garden uh, that'll be uh, <clears throat> interesting to avoid the freezes because uh, it can get cold here and when the freezes stop is going to be trick kind of tricky so a lot of people will have greenhouses and high towers here for the gardens uh, cost of living uh, not exactly the best um, we don't have a sales tax here tax here in Oregon but we do have a state tax and uh, 
it it all equals out. It, every state's fairly equal until you get to the crazy ones like California or Chicago or New York. Uh, and there's a lot of less extremism as far as what's going on with the cities and riots and all that stuff. Um, we still have protests here. Seems to stay pretty calm. Um, generally speaking, that's what we're kind of getting away from. Is is like we have Portland that's insane, and over here we just shake our heads <laughs> and wonder why they keep putting in another Democratic uh, leaders when their cities are being torn up. And of course, when you live in city, uh, states like this and you live in an area like we do, it tends to be a red area, all the counties out here. <clears throat> and uh, so, uh, unfortunately, the big cities tend to make the de uh, decisions for the little cities. <clears throat> and that can be frustrating. <clears throat> and forgive me, I'm kind of hoarse. I uh, was rototilling today and <clears throat> it's dusty and I think I got it in my lungs. I guess I should have wore a face mask. <laughs> and you notice a lot of people around here don't like the face mask thing. They're doing it to be appropriate. They're doing it to support their businesses. But uh, <clears throat> a lot of people like me, we believe that God gave us a really clever body and a healthy body that it can uh, adapt, just like the flu, just like colds. Um, and so being exposed to that stuff isn't as scary f for folks like us that believe that because we want our bodies to be able to fight it. And uh, using hand sanitizer 24-7 and wearing masks and gloves is certainly not going to get your body exposed to finding a way to fight back. So that's kind of how a lot of folks here. Uh, when it comes to getting service, there's a thing called Central Oregon Time here. Which means nobody's on time. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I've always, when you come, like I came back up from Phoenix where I'm used to everything now, 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 uh, you tend to wait, wait, wait around here. Uh, getting an electrician, getting a plumber, getting some construction done, it's kind of like when they get around to it. And uh, <clears throat> there's a lot of. Uh, uh, private contractors here a lot of people that run their own businesses so while the economy is starting to have issues a lot of folks we meet here are co private contractors and they tend to still be getting work maybe not as much but um, very self-reliant people here um, and a lot of people escaping the cities are coming here. Some of them are coming here with a right attitude. And others are coming here and they immediately want to go to the city council and say all of us are evil. Um, and they don't get very far. But they do make some headway. And that's kind of sad. <clears throat> but yeah, it's a, um, it's a high desert area, they call this. So we do have... We're kind of in a deserty area, but we have more growth. You'll see pine trees and a lot of junipers uh, in this area. Uh, but there's a lot of bare land with just sage on it. But uh, yeah, it's a wonderful place to live. Um, we uh, church-wise, there's a lot of churches. The one that we found was uh, in Redmond, and uh, we're actually very happy with it. Very realistic, and teach all of the Bible, not just some of it. Um, and then we appreciate that. <clears throat> so, uh, um, it's not hard to get acreage here. Um, whether it's a half acre to five acres to more than that. Uh, there's a lot of open space here. And if this is the kind of place you're looking for, there is, um, <clears throat> uh, anyway, that's one, why we live here. Um, and what we um, what we like about it uh, it's been a great place for our pets um, don't hear about fleas here you do have ticks I've seen ticks um, but uh, really it's a great place for your pets we've got to look out for cheat grass 
cheatgrass will actually get into their ears and can be a real issue and can be quite expensive to have the surgery to get it out. So always t take good care of your pets and inspect them and see if they have cheatgrass in their ears or in their paws or in their um, fur, things like that. But generally speaking, the people are really nice here. And there is exceptions to the rule. There are some evil people here, because I've lived here before and I've seen some terrible things that people I wasn't think that they were capable of doing. But uh, so it's not perfect. Uh, people are people, but I think a lot of goodness outweighs the darkness here. And uh, that's kind of a nice way to be. So I hope uh, that kind of gives you a little insight of what it's like to be in Central Oregon. Um, when you look up Central Oregon, it can be Madras, uh, Prineville, Terrebonne, Redmond, Bend, Lapine. Those ring a bell to you. Prineville. Um, those are kind of some of the major little cities here. The biggest one, of course, being Bend, Oregon. Redmond, probably the second biggest, and then Madras. Um, and then we got Prineville somewhere in there too. <clears throat> and uh, But they're all kind of towns that you can just drive through and before you know it, you're past it. Um, fuel is not uh, terribly expensive here, but it's not cheap. Uh, we actually have people pump fuel for us here still in the old days. Kind of like that, especially when it's 20 degrees out. Just roll down the window a little bit, give them your card, and then roll it down up again uh, if it's freezing out. But uh, uh, anyway, so magically there isn't any uh, big savings and stuff. This is a good place to grow your own stuff, bulk up a little bit, learn how to preserve food. Um, this is a good place to practice that. And uh, anyway, so if you're ever here in Central Oregon, um, enjoy the area. We've got great recreation. There is skiing up in Mount Bachelor. We have some beautiful uh, reservoirs and lakes up here. Um, fly fishing is very popular. There's two kinds of outdoor people. There's the ones that like recreation, which are like uh, skiing or uh, water skiing, or they like to do uh, uh, water boarding on the river and stuff, kayaking. And then there's the hardcore outdoor people, the hunters and the fishermen, um, hiker, uh, climbers, um, backpacking kind of folks. Um, tend to be more redneckish. <laughs> uh, people like to use their four wheelers, go shooting. Um, so yeah, you got kind of two types of recreational people here. Uh, kind of what I call the PC type and then the redneck type. We'll put it that way. I tend to like the redneck ones. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed our little talk. Don't like to keep my videos too long. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Uh, we're sharing all kinds of things that we're doing. We're learning a lot of new things and hopefully you can learn along with us. So uh, for now, be safe and until next time, bye now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.